Good morning, Scioto. Welcome to the Scioto Now and Later show. I'm Max. And I'm Dante, and these are your announcements for Monday, March 22nd. Make sure to check out the Global Read a Latte and World Language Week experience. You can get it by going to the Irish in the No Schoology page. There are student projects from the world language classes and videos about Scioto excellence in art, music, food, and fashion. There is also a fun virtual scavenger hunt. Don't miss it. It's day four of World Language Week, and the Foreign Language Department has some fun facts about Spanish countries. Did you know there are dozens of varieties of chilies and their flavor and name change for when they are dried? For example, the, the mouth-burning jalapeno comes from the smoky taste in Chipotle in its dried form. Also, Spanish artist Pablo Picasso's full name is actually Pablo Diego Jose Francisco de Paula. Yeah, you get the point. More fun facts. Instead of the White House, the president of Argentina lives and works in La Casa Rosada. The Pink House. At any point in Central America, you're never more than 125 miles from the ocean. Cuba and Puerto Rico have the same flag design with opposite colors, and they are considered sister islands. South America is home to the world's highest waterfall, Angel Falls in Venezuela, the world's largest mountain range at the Andes, and the world's largest rainforest, the Amazon, and the world's southernmost city, Ushay, Asia. <laughs> That's it for announcements. We leave you with students and staff's picks for March Madness. Have a great spring break, Scioto. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's March. It's madness. People are making brackets, making crazy decisions. We're going to go around, ask people some questions, and uh, find out who's got the breast bracket. Let's get it. All right, I'm here with Aaron. Aaron, what's your pick? Who's going all the way this year? Um, I don't have your brackets this year, but I've mainly had Baylor or Iowa. So, so Mr. Marple, uh, some slack here. Yes. Who do you have winning it all this year? Uh, who do I, I have, oh, I have the Zags. I have Gonzaga. Uh, I got my money on Gonzaga. Gonzaga. I'm here with Bryce. Bryce, uh, what are, what are your picks for March Madness this year? Who's taking it all? What are some of your wildest picks? Let me know. I have Alabama taking it all. I got Baylor going it all. I think uh, everyone's trying to go with Gonzaga, but they're known to choke, and they're the number one team in the league undefeated right now. They're known to choke. They aren't going to make it past Sweet 16. I like the confidence. Any money? Any money on the bracket? No money. I'm too poor for that. <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of a tough match, but I got a Zaga. I got Gonzaga taking it all. You know? So for me, I have Gonzaga winning it, and if they don't, I won't consider it a choke because I can recall when them just being there and winning a game was a huge deal. So let's hear uh, what stupid picks Dante made and how they're going to lose them. The entire Sounds to me like you're a little biased, but that's not the point. Um, I have Gonzaga going all the way because they're a really like reliable team. They're good. They're solid. Like They get far almost every year. So yeah, just reliable. What are your stupid idiot picks in our bracket that's going to make you lose? Um... Well, San Diego State, I have winning the entire thing. That's why I'm, that's why I'm ca that's why we're cashing out. That's why we're cashing out. No. San Diego State is winning everything. They have the 28th hardest schedule. They've only lost four games. They're 2-0 and against top 25 opponents. That concludes it for uh, our first March Madness video. We're going to check back in with uh, all the people we interviewed, maybe interview some new people next time. And uh, we're going to continue our search to find the perfect bracket or the best bracket at Scioto. So uh, stay tuned and have a great day, Scioto.